What's going on everybody here we're at another week at the Home Theater Hobbyist and this week we have a review of another streaming TV service. It's called Philo TV. That's right, Philo TV. So over the past few days I've been reviewing another streaming service. It's called Philo TV. That's P-H-I-L-O TV. And it's actually really, really good. So let's talk about it. Philo TV starts out at $16 a month for 40 channels. Some of those channels include AMC, Animal Planet, The Food Network, HGTV, The History Channel, and more. For an additional $4 per month, you can add nine more channels. So for a total of 20 bucks a month, you can get 49 channels, but that does not include sports or your local broadcast channels. Features include a seven day free trial, three simultaneous streams, so you can watch TV on up to three different devices at a time. So you can watch TV on your you can watch TV on your TV, on your iPad, on your computer, or any combination thereof. They also give you DVR functionality, so you can pause, play, fast forward, live TV, and you have unlimited recordings. Now they do save those episodes for 30 days, so you will have to watch it within 30 days, but you do have unlimited recordings. Now let's talk about my experience. I went onto my web browser to start my free trial. They requested my mobile number and that was a little different than most services. But once I put that in, they sent me a text message with a link that I could click to start the trial or a passcode that I could use to start the trial. I used the passcode, I put that in and that started my free trial. Now, according to Filio, the reason why they do this is because they want to make it as easy as possible to sign up and to make it quick. Now, when you put in your mobile number, you get a two day free trial. If you want the full seven day free trial, they're going to ask you after two days to put in your billing information. Once sign up was complete, I downloaded the app onto my Roku box. Then I click sign in once the page came up. It asked me for my mobile number again. I input that and it sent me another text message. I clicked the link in the text message and it sent me to a special sign on page. With that page, I clicked yes or confirm and from there I was able to use the service and everything worked really, really well. Philo's menu system is really good. It's really intuitive, it's easy to use. On my Roku remote, the up down arrows worked. You could go to menu, or you could go to options. When I did it on my Amazon Fire TV, it also worked really well. The arrow functions didn't work as much, but they actually gave you some sort of response. On one of the services I use, the arrow buttons didn't work at all and it was just kind of weird. But on this one, it actually did work. A couple of features I noticed while watching this streaming service that I really like. The first is that whenever you select this show, regardless of where it is in the program, it always starts from the beginning. You can go to live if you want to, but it seems to always start at the beginning of the show and really starts at the tail end of the last show and starts the stream. So I really like that. I also like the fact that everything loads very, very quickly. Within a few seconds, the stream is up and going and it is solid. Another feature I like while watching live TV is once you reach a commercial that you can't skip, it gives you a little timer in the top left hand corner that lets you know how much time is left on those particular commercials. So I just thought that was a nice feature that I haven't seen in any other streaming service. Another feature I like is when you're skipping through commercials on channels that allow skip, they actually give you a little thumbnail view of what's going on. So once your show comes back on, you can see it and you know exactly when you need to hit play. Now let's actually talk about the quality of the service. First of all, the streaming quality was excellent. I didn't have any issues with buffering or stuttering or anything like that. My connection here at home is 100 megabytes or is it megabits? I'm not really sure, but it's 100 down and so I have plenty of bandwidth. And sometimes trying other services, I still have had issues with stuttering and buffering and stuff like that. With Philo, I haven't had any issue whatsoever. From a video quality standpoint, everything looks superb. It's at least 720p, if not 1080p at all times. I've had no issues. The video quality has never dropped or gotten blocky or splotchy or anything like that. It's always looked really, really good, even when watching live TV. Moving on to audio quality, audio quality is also really good as well. I haven't had any issues with lip sync. But one thing I will note is that the audio from all the channels I've watched has always been two channel or stereo left and right. I haven't had any multi-channel audio from this app. So that's the only downside if you're watching movies. But again, at 16 bucks a month or 20 bucks a month, I can't complain. Overall, I highly recommend Philo TV. 
The streaming quality was excellent. The video quality was excellent. The audio quality was excellent. It gives you three simultaneous streams, DVR and DVR functionality, the ability to skip commercials. Uh, it's 20 bucks a month. The only drawback I can think of is it didn't have any sports. So for me, that's kind of a biggie. But if you don't care about sports and it has all the channels you watch, I highly recommend that you try out Philo TV. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Consider supporting us at patreon.com slash home theater hobby or use that Amazon link in the description below. We'll talk to you next time.